Well, the governor bringing that same message from last week's address to Central Texas tonight. He's set to appear at Texas Christian School in about an hour, around 6 o'clock. The subject, school choice and proposed vouchers that could effectively let students go anywhere they want. 25 News reporter Ian Chris is here in studio. Ian, you've been talking to some public schools today. What are they telling you? I did. Belton ISD Superintendent Dr. Matt Smith says the legislation raises numerous concerns for public schools funding when, and with current economic state. He says school districts have already lost funding and could lose even more. Private school vouchers are a major talker in the current Texas legislative session. One proposal allowing parents up to $10,000 via a voucher for private education. It raises some questions and concerns for public schools like Belton ISD. And one of the priorities talks about protecting those funds to go to public schools. We know that we have seen a historic rise in inflation over the past couple of years that impacts every employee in our system and every family in our system. Texas public schools receive state funding per student and per the type of needs they may have. We don't yet know how exactly the latest proposal would impact public schools. Dr. Smith says public schools do have options for students to choose from. Just in Belton ISD, we have a school of choice that students go to. We have programs of choice. We have interdistrict transfers. So the idea of choice exists in our public schools that we have today. Dr. Smith says it could impact large urban areas with more options for schools. He says public schools serve all children and this funding should support every child if passed. Not just a select few. And I think that could have a negative effect on public schools if those those type of accountability systems and those discussions aren't happening along the way. Meanwhile, private schools say more options could be a good thing for parents and students. But if they had an option and felt like a, one of their children or all their children needed uh, a different path uh, that would be best fitted for their uh, for their purpose, uh, this would help them. Dr. Smith says if passed, he encourages parents to see what all is offered at their child's current school before moving them. We want to be partners with parents. So I think some of this rhetoric around uh, not wanting that is, is the exact opposite. And I would encourage the families and the schools to work together if the bill passes, it would take effect in, uh, in September, but parents will not have access to the funds until 2024. In studio, Ian Chris, 25 News. All right, Ian. As we mentioned,